Hi, we are Team Augie and we are building technology to better understand gut health. One in five Americans suffer from some sort of chronic gut disorder on a daily basis, like IBS, irritable bowel syndrome. If you are diagnosed with IBS, you are likely to visit several doctors who will try to quantify and analyze your symptoms in a 20-minute consultation. They will fail. You will also visit several dietitians and therapists, but they do not have the right access to the right data and the right tools to target the right symptoms. As a result, this is an expensive and exhausting multi-year process. Introducing Augie. Augie is a frictionless platform to target and manage your chronic gut disorders. With Augie, you can take a picture of your stool and Augie will automatically characterize and extract clinical data from that image. The same kind of data your doctor would ask you in an appointment, except now it's quantifiable, objective, and allows you and your doctor to understand the state of your gut over time. With objective data, you now have a way to understand your symptoms, identify triggers, how well medication is working on your body, and most importantly, allow your doctor to provide targeted and precision care for your unique gut. Let's show you how it works. Over the past year, we've worked on a prototype with doctors using computer vision and deep learning to extract a key metric called the Bristol scale, which is a proven and widely used metric that doctors use in clinics to understand your gut, and we can track it with real images in the wild. You might be asking, why focus on stool? Well, stool provides a wealth of data about what's going on in your gut, and is correlated with a number of symptoms such as constipation, diarrhea, digestion type of food, and even a precursor to colon cancer. So we need many, many more images to get Augie to be better than the average doctor. And we're building a pipeline to do so. So for instance, we've created about 2,000 images so far and have been annotated by physicians. And we're working with an undisclosed pharmaceutical partner get that number to 100,000 images by the end of the year. Now, we launched. For now two months, we've been running a small pilot with five users where we're asking them to share stool images through text, among other things. And we've learned many things, like the fact that users are comfortable sharing stool images, or the fact that they like having conversations with us. But we're not stopping there. Our, we're currently working on the next version of the pilot, where we're focusing on security, privacy, and enhanced user experience. And we're also working with Mass General Hospital in Boston on a deployment partnership. Now, in the US, an employee with IBS is almost twice as expensive in terms of healthcare as a regular employee with IBS. And that's mostly due to loss of productivity. So we think that we can be the go-to platform for employers and for bigger employee benefits to actually help them reduce that productivity, that loss of productivity, and in general, the healthcare cost. Augie started here at Cornell Tech as a research project. Since then, we won the MIT Hacking Medicine Hackathon. We've also been invited recently to speak at a major medical conference after submitting a paper. And we're currently laser focused here at Cornell Tech on our pilot, and very excited to see what we get in our vision. For Team Augie, we're building the technology to better understand digestive health. Thank you. Um, your business, vision, product are all yeses. They make sense. There's, there is a there there. And you've articulated that really, really well. You have a totally different challenge than everybody else's pitch today. It feels like you've moved very slow. So when you show that timeline and you date it back to January of 18, we're now in April of 19, and you said I have five users 
who shared, not enough stool for us. You said that. We're like, we need more. You're almost making me question, and now you show a slide at the very end of nine people. So like, why don't you have nine stool? Like, literally. <laughs> so like, I just, like, there's something about this that I'm like, oh, that's fascinating. Why are they so slow? That was my first reaction here, was slow. And I think that that's something that might be wrong, but that's what your narrative here is leaving me with. So I don't think it's necessarily feedback that you're going too slow, it's that that's what your story and your pitch is making me read from it. And so I think where in your pitch that comes off, you should go back and revamp totally, because I don't think that's the case. Um, so I figure out how to just alleviate that. You want the MIT, so the timeline slide might not make sense. So that's one way, is you just kill the timeline slide. So when you say we want it, I'm like, oh, you want it last year, so what, what have you been doing for a year? And so that's where you're making me think there's a question. You guys are very serious, right on the edge of angry, so <laughs> like, pull back a little bit. Um, the serious topic is not an angry, I guess irritable. <laughs> um, so I, I, I would just like find that line. Um, it's really compelling. It feels like a business. It feels like a company. It feels like you're taking it seriously. So none of this is negative. It's pushing you to make it better. I think um, this is one of the, the three strongest things today. So you rose above uh, the noise for sure, but it's not there yet, and it needs to get uh, iterated on and the energy to be better. And, um, even saying like undisclosed partner, it's almost an unnecessary inclusion. Um, I just think it, like somehow you need to show speed aggressiveness, and I think you're getting at it, you just phrase it uh, for me. Yeah, I feel like uh, you started very strong. Um, you said things like they will try and fail, um, they don't have the data, right? So when you were saying those things, you, you made me feel like you're solving something very novel and difficult to do. Um, so I, I was getting pretty excited about that. I feel like there's a big disconnect between um, kind of what you were saying and how you describe the user experience. Right, so you, you talk about this narrative where I will go to get a consultation and they'll ask me a question and they just won't get the data. But then you talked about how they would take a pic, how the consumer actually, the, the user would actually take a picture of the stool. But I don't understand, I, I don't understand the relationship between me and the doctor, what's the timeline, is it something I'm doing on a daily basis? Do I just go home and I do it one time? It's just, there's a real big disconnect uh, with the user experience, and I think you can kind of elaborate on that more. Um, toward the end, you talked about, I think you talked about the cost being $1,200. Um, just trying to break down the cost of that, like, am, am, am I paying this on a monthly basis as a user for access to the platform that gives me data back? Am I doing it like as a one-time thing after I do the consultation with the doctor? Like, it's just very, very unclear what the business model is. Touching on Aaron, uh, we're, we're big investors in the microbiome space. We think it's the future totally aligned with what you guys are working on. Um, the $1,200, I think, is just the tweak of the sentence. The one part that he's spot on with is there's a question, do doctors want this? So if you talk to a lot of doctors around like, hey, I wear a Fitbit, here's my sleeping time, like, what do you want me to do with that? If you talk to pediatricians, they're like, here's the outlet on my baby's thing. It, like, they don't care. I think your doctors do care. You don't connect those dots, which you open with, and then the product solves of, we've spoken to hundreds of doctors who say that this data is changing the way that they think about it. Like, that's the tying it all together that I think you have, but you don't articulate uh, properly. So, totally agree with what Aaron and David said, maybe one or summary, at least the way I'm looking at it, I see passion about the problem for me. I see passion about your potential solution. I don't see passion about the business. And that that's sort of my 
Hey, you need all no three. input other than that. And you, you need all three of them. So, yeah, I think that's fair. Um, but I think you are passionate about this. Yeah, no, but I just said I don't yeah, see it. Yeah, it doesn't come out. It's not coming out. Yeah, it's, again, it's, it's something it's, else. Somehow it's not coming out. Cool. Thank well, you. But it was good. Everybody keep going.